I had never had family members that had cancer before. How do I tell my girls? It was hard to explain something that I didn't know anything about. To lose my hair was the hardest part. I remember sitting in that office and the first thing for my doctor to say, you're about to lose all your hair. My hair has always been my identity. I laugh about it, but it was like my third child. So knowing that I was about to lose it was really hard. Uh, harder when I went to try on a wig for the first time. Finding a wig that still identified me was the best part. I wanted to feel me again. I didn't want my daughters to be scared or ashamed to be seen with me. And that was the biggest part. I wanted them to say, this is my mom, and not say she's wearing a wig and she's going through cancer, or having to give explanations of what I went through. The biggest thing I can say to don't be a chump, check for a lump, and, and their sponsors is thank you. You give a lot of us and a lot of other women an identity to feel <laughs> proud of themselves and go through a journey with their head up strong. It helped me, it helped my kids to feel normal. I was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 2013 and it just came out of nowhere. But I just kind of jumped on the bandwagon and went along with what everybody told me to do, which at that time turned out to be just a lumpectomy and radiation. I didn't have to do chemo my first time around. I had a sneaking suspicion that I wasn't done with my cancer experience. And finally, it got diagnosed again, and this time I heard the words, you have to do chemo. I was devastated because the thought of losing my hair was something I hadn't had to process before. As soon as I found out about the Don't Be a Chump, Check for a Lump wig program, I was really excited about the idea of getting a wig and having fun with it. So I went to Classy Sisters to get my wig, and part of my hairstyle that I'm kind of known for are solid Betty Page black bangs. And they helped me pick out just the right wig, and then they customized it and put the bangs in for me. So I have nothing but fantastic things to say about all of the sponsors and supporters for Don't Be a Chump, Check for a Lump. You really have to know that you're making a huge difference in people's lives by supporting programs, not just the WIG program, but creating this sense of community and really helping other survivors connect with each other. I was always the healthy one in the family. My husband had cancer, my daughter's got ADHD and all sorts of other things going on too, but you would never guess that. And then it was my turn, and I was really pissed off that I had cancer. Then I was okay with it, and I was like, you know what, I'm better than this. I can get through it, no problem. But then losing my hair was devastating. You don't want to think that you're vain because you're upset about losing your hair. I had crazy hair before. I dyed it pinks and purples, all sorts of fun colors all the time. The wig helped because it gave me that sense of security that I didn't have when I didn't have hair. Whenever I would go out to do something, I would always put my wig on because it made me feel like me. I really want to thank, you know, don't be a chump, check for a lump, because without the wig and their, all the sponsors, it would have been really hard for me. You know, we didn't have a lot of money and treatment and everything on top of that, and wigs aren't cheap. Not at all. We wouldn't have been able to afford to get one. <laughs>